What's going on guys? Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training and in today's video I wanted to share with you three baseball fielding drills that really every player out there that wants to play at a high level should be doing. I don't care if you're in Little League or if you're in college. These are drills that apply to every single level and they're going to help you just become a more consistent and confident infielder. Um, some of these drills are relatively basic, right? But it, baseball is about the fundamentals. It's about mastering the fundamentals. You'll see even professional players, you know, why do they work on bunting so much? Why do they work on some of the drills that I have here on my YouTube channel? It's because the fundamentals and simple in baseball, it wins, all right? So uh, these drills, if you, if you put in the work, I promise they are going to bring the results that you're looking for. So the first one, I think Little League players up to professional players should do this on a daily basis basis and it's short hops so if you don't have a partner you're gonna need a wall for this uh, but if you do have a partner that's the preferred way to do this drill but you're gonna stand about five yards apart from each other so pretty much from me to you right now and you're gonna work on just giving each other short hops okay I don't have a partner right now but uh, uh, to demonstrate this but it's pretty self-explanatory okay so you're gonna get into your regular fielding position okay Make sure your hands are out in front. Make sure that you, when you go down, your back is flat, okay? We don't want to have our, ourself in a position like this. We want to have a flat back. And then the very first area you're going to work on is balls hit directly at you. So you're going to just do short hops, okay? And you can mix it up with your partner. Um, you know, you can do easy short hops, and then you can kind of do those tweener hops where it might be, you know, it might take a little bit of a bad hop on you, okay? But the very first one, you're just going to throw back and forth and you're gonna feel balls, short hops directly in front of you, okay? So back and forth, back and forth. I recommend maybe doing a minute or two in each area. So right at you, forehand, and then backhand, a minute or two on each different uh, you know, fielding position, okay? So then forehand, we're gonna turn our feet just like this, and our partner's gonna throw it out here. Again, focus on starting from the ground, working up. We don't wanna start from down here and stab down at it, Start from down here, work up, okay, four hands, then just turn, throw your partner one, get down, ready to go, boom. Boom, just like that. Then turn your feet again, and you can work on backhands. Now there's kind of two different variations for the backhand. Sometimes your feet are gonna be like this on a backhand, and sometimes you're gonna have to cross them over because it's really a stretch. So you can kind of work on both. You can do some backhands from this position here, right? Boom, being soft with our hands. And then you can actually work on the full crossover step like this. Again, soft with our hands, kind of sweeping through the baseball. We don't want to stay back here. We kind of want to sweep through the baseball. So those are the three different areas that you should work on. And that's the first drill is short hops. Again, I recommend doing this every single day. When I was in high school, when I was a middle infielder, we did these, you know, immediately following our throwing progressions and our warm up. If we chose to play long toss that day, that was the first thing we did before fielding fungo ground balls or anything else. So that's drill number one. Drill number two is going to be short fungo on your knees, okay? You've probably seen in my other videos, I call this the Nolan Arenado drill because he does this all the time, but it works. It isolates your upper body, takes away your lower half, so you can really work on receiving the baseball. I feel like a lot of uh, young players, you know, sometimes just that, that art of fielding and receiving the baseball kind of goes uh, unnoticed and it's not really worked on as much as it should because players are worried about their footwork too much. Now footwork is very important, but it's also important to isolate your upper body because we have to work on our receiving skills. So you're just gonna get down on a knee, you're gonna have a coach or a partner either fungo or throw you ground balls, and this is short distance, so they're gonna be 20, 25 feet away. And you're just gonna get down on both knees like this, and again, isolating uh, you know, our upper body, and we're gonna work on receiving the ball in front, straight at us, forehands, and backhands. Working on really just being soft with our hands, getting into a good solid fielding position, watching the ball all the way into our glove, um, and then you can even you know, field it, bring it into your body, and then get into a, a throwing position, and then just lob it back, give your partner a one hop, and then you're back at it, okay? So he can start out hitting you direct at you, then forehand, backhand, and then he can mix it up, okay? But this is great. I recommend starting down here on your knees before you pop up into regular fungos. Now the very last drill, this is gonna be full distance fungo, so your partner can be at home plate, either hitting you ground balls or throwing you ground balls. But this is called the reaction drill. This is something that uh, I, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with. 
and it kind of simulates, you know, maybe you didn't, maybe there's a glare from the bleachers or whatever and you didn't get necessarily a great first read on the ball. You kind of lost it for a second. Maybe you, you just lost it off the bat. It happens all the time to infielders and outfielders. Sometimes we just don't see it well off the bat. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your back to your partner. My partner's over there at home plate. I'm going to literally turn my back so I can't see him at all. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my ready position and I'm going to listen and I'm going to wait for him to hit the ball and he's going to wait a split second and then he's going to say now and I'm going to jump, I'm going to turn my feet, I'm going to jump around and I'm going to find the baseball, whether it's right at me, I'm going to field it, make a good throw or if it's to my forehand or my backhand, but the goal is just, you know, you're going to turn around, you're going to get turned around, uh, you're going to be, you know, kind of all over the place, scattered, you're not going to be able to see the ball right away, kind of simulating you know, not seeing it well off the bat, and then you're gonna have to go make a play, okay? So it looks something like this. I'm in my ready position, ball's hit, my partner says, now, and I turn around, oh, it's over here, and then I field it and make a good strong throw. So that's the reaction drill. These three drills, I'm telling you, they're gonna improve your infielding, they're gonna make you more consistent, and they're gonna improve your confidence as well, which is really, really important. The more confident you are, the better player you are, okay? So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, be sure to hit this button right here and subscribe to our channel. We come out with new baseball videos every single week, so you don't wanna miss a video. So be sure to hit this button, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.